the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. In this video, I rank the best pools to mine to on your Ice River ASIC. Right now, I have the KS0, and I've got a KS1 on the way. It should be arriving on June 20th, or maybe even earlier. I'll do more videos like this one on the KS0 and the KS1, and I'll do them frequently, so please consider subscribing to my channel if you find the videos helpful. I'd really appreciate it. Um, anyway, if you've seen my other videos, you already know I had tons of rejected shares on Hero Miners with my KS0. Um, I usually like Hero Miners, but at one point I had about 30% or more rejected shares. Uh, thank God I set up a backup pool in my web GUI. Um, I was at work and there was nothing I could do while I was watching my hash rate plummet to zero on this thing. It broke my heart, guys. Um, but because I set up the backup pool and eventually flipped over to Wooly Pulley on its own and started mining the crap out of some Caspa again. Um, just an update, while I was making this video, um, Foley Electric um, gave me a tip. Thanks again, Foley Electric, for giving me that information. Um, he informed me that um, the, the stratum that I had punched in for Hero Miners might not have been optimized for um, ASIC. So uh, I think I just punched in like the American pool, uh, like out of habit. Um, that's what you do in Hive OS. So thanks again, Foley Electric, for um, giving me that info. Great info. Um, so anyway, if you want to know how to set up the KS0 or how to add in backup pools, check out my KS0 setup video. I'll leave in the uh, link in the description. All right. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, in the picture, I highlighted uh, the various pools that are currently available to mine your ice river ASIC to. Um, people keep asking me why I don't mind other pools, uh, why I don't solo mine. Um, the reason why I'm not messing around with that kind of thing is because it's just not worth it for me, guys. I paid a lot of money out of pocket for this thing, and I just figure why I risk it. There's plenty of options for pools to mine, um, and I'll go over them in this video. Um, also, I've said several times on Twitter and my YouTube channel, Red Panda tried to solo mine in his KS2 when he first got it, and it bricked. Um, so I didn't really want to try solo mining. Um, I know at that time, uh, solo mining wasn't approved by Ice River, and things have changed. Things are changing every day. Um, I just don't want to mess with it right now, guys. I, I like that I'm getting tons of Caspa, um, and I'm trying to optimize it just a little at a time. I don't want to go nuts. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox now. Let's move on. Um, so, uh, I've circled the fees associated with each pool at this moment. Um, Caspa pool has the lowest fees at 0.75% and they don't have anywhere near the 51% of the hash rate. So for now I have Caspa pool as my first pool in the web GUI here. Um, the good news is currently the hash rate is spread out pretty nicely across a lot of different pools. Um, so great job at, uh, keeping it decentralized for the greater good guys. <laughs> So um, anyway, yeah, no pool is anywhere near 51% at the moment. So that's good. Uh, so for my second pool, uh, which is my first backup pool, I went with Wooly Pulley. Um, their fee is slightly higher at 0.9%, but they worked well as my number two when high, uh, Hero Miners crashed on me. So even though pool fears are slightly higher, um, I know I can count on them uh, if my f first pool goes down for some reason. So thanks for saving my hash rate, Wooly Pulley. I appreciate that. Um, so for my third pool, which is my second backup pool behind Wooly Pulley, I have uh, Caspa.acc pool. Um, I chose them because the fee is relatively low at 0.8%, and they're further down the list when it comes to the hash rate dominance. All right, so that's it for pools, guys. Let's talk about the web GUI. Um, I like this web GUI. It's intuitive. It's easy to use. It has a lot of good information on it, like temperatures, rejected chair percentages, um, obviously your hash rate, fan control settings, Pretty much everything you'd need to run this thing successfully, guys. Um, regarding temperatures, in the web, web GUI, there's two different temperatures and two different fan speeds listed. I do not know what temperature one is monitoring versus temperature two, and I do not know what fan one is cooling versus fan two. Um, so I decided to just try to get more data on the exterior temperature of the device for safety's sake, uh, because this thing is just kind of sitting on my desk right now. <laughs> you know, it's like, I want to know how hot this thing can get on the outside. Um, that way, once I get done with all my testing and messing around with this thing, I can put it somewhere more permanent and I know it'll be safe there if I, I have that data. So um, once again, check out my deep dive video. Um, I use an infrared, infrared thermometer to check the exterior temps on the heat sink and the power supply. Um, surprisingly, the power supply gets really hot, guys. Just safety warning. Uh, watch my other video. It gets up there, guys. Um, so I also test other stuff in that deep dive video, like decibel uh, meter readings, blah, blah, blah. Go check out the video if you want to know more about it. Um, so anyway, uh, on the front of this thing, it looks like there's a spot where I can mount a fan, uh, but I don't know what that, like what fan will easily attach to this thing yet. 
And I want one that I could just plug into a simple 110 outlet. So um, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on what fan I could use below, uh, comment below and I'll dig into it for the next video. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like this thing, guys. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I hope it was helpful and I hope it clears up some questions for you. If you have any other questions or if you want me to test anything, please comment below and I'll try to include it in my next video. You guys have uh, been awesome. I love chatting with you guys about this stuff. Um, I'm having fun with it and this community is great. Um, everyone's really cool and they've, they're coming up with great ideas. So let's uh, let's share ideas with each other. Um, I want everybody to be successful mining on this thing. So uh, let's just help each other out, guys. It's, uh, it's fun times. It's exciting times. Anyway. Um, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.